I used to be neat and, and orderly, but not anymore. I'm Jason, I'm 28 years old. Uh, I'm Augustine's son. I'm very open about the fact that my mother is a hoarder and that I grew up in squalor. So my mom came to me one day and asked if Jason could stay with me for a few days. And he lived with me for 10 years. I am packing my clothes to get ready to go to New Orleans. Hello, mother. Oh, look how tall you're getting. I think I've been the same height since last time you saw me. My name is Constance, and I live in a small country town. They say I'm a hoarder. They say I'm a redneck. I'm gonna say, you darn right. Right now, I have about 15 chickens and several roosters and 25 guineas. My mother does not have a clue, and I don't think she really cares. I do see eggs sort of all over the place. So eggs there, eggs there. Oh, oh, this is funny. just wrong. Loretta's been traumatized by being held up at gunpoint, had all of her possessions taken from her. And with a lot of people that have experienced trauma, they hoard in a way to create a bunker or shelter for themselves. Would you like to have your own bedroom? You do? Yeah. What would you want in your bedroom? A bed. You just ain't right. I got it. I don't want to live like this. You don't. The Julian Price Hillside Manor, I would say, is the perfect house. At one point in time, she was the prominent interior decorator of Greensboro, North Carolina. The ownership of the property has changed hands. Sandra fought a valiant fight with the bank for a number of years. Today, Michael and Eric are the owners of the property. They are giving her an opportunity to uh, retrieve some of her belongings. It's just incredibly sad that everything this woman has worked for is going to be thrown away. I have worked with hundreds and hundreds of people struggling with hoarding disorder. And this was by far one of the most painful cases. I am Betty, I'm 68 years old. I was the garbage man's daughter. The kids at school used to tease me about it and it was a big issue. I arrived at the house and found out that my father was not breathing. And the squad came, and they couldn't get a gurney in to get him, so they had to carry him out. Adult Protective Services has become involved. Mother, we have hope. We have no dying to spare. No, no, no dying to spare. No. I don't want to hear that to anymore. To my dying my entire life. I don't care. I don't want to hear it anymore. No die, no despair. I don't want to hear it anymore. I love yard sales. I love garage sales. I love rummage sales. I go thrift store shopping three to four times a week. I know I have way too much stuff. She married a convict. She met him through a biker magazine. We've been married almost 22 years now. Tell me about, about this, this picture. Oh, this is a painting that my husband had done for us. Where is he? My husband is incarcerated. He was involved in a fight. And a young man lost his life. I was shocked. It was a hangman's noose. My name is Shanna. I can definitely handle dirt. I don't have a problem with that. My mother used to put poop in a jug. This house has a septic issue. She's eating two feet from all the poop in urine. Do you think I meet the definition of a hoarder? Hell yes. This is a very weird situation. How do you not know that feces in the house is bad? But wait, I don't smell it anymore, though. My name is Fred, and I work for a contracting company. And I'm probably a hoarder. My name is Mary, and I am Fred's wife. I don't think that I am a hoarder. I think I'm a lousy housekeeper. We conducted our investigation and we discovered some really extreme violations. The house was extremely infested with insects. The cobwebs are everywhere. This could be in a, in a movie for a haunted house. This family's breathing really heavy, dusty air and he's wearing oxygen. That doesn't point. help, I'm sure. 
Yeah. I like cats because I do feel that they're very entertaining. I always thought the more the merrier. Terry has nothing. She's not into shoes and jewelry. She hoards animals. My mother had a kitten, and there was so much ammonia in the air that its eyeballs popped out. It's going to be a <gasps> shock. Oh! I don't know how this all started. There's 49 cats that came out of the house. We were able to save 18 of those cats. My name is Carolyn. I'm 29 years old, and I'm a part-time school bus driver and full-time university student. I am the proud mother of three amazingly beautiful, smart, intelligent girls. As we continue around, we've got open food containers and things like that, mm -hmm. which is not safe for your children. No. Right? No, it's not. Um, because there could be bugs, there could be other things that are, that are crawling in and there. And lately, yeah. we've been finding, or I've been finding notes the last one basically said that she wishes she was killed because then she wouldn't have to worry about being left out. <laughs>